What megastar rose to fame by playing Andy Dwyer on the comedy series Parks and Recreation? Pass. 1980s stars Emilio Estevez, Anthony Michael Hall, Rob Lowe, Demi Moore, Judd Nelson, Molly Ringwald, Ali Sheedy, and Andrew McCarthy were often collectively known as what? The Brat Pack. More than 70% of all the maple syrup in the world comes from which Canadian province? Uh, British Columbia. Where are the headquarters of the United Nations? Uh, Pass. What is the highest grossing James Bond film of all time? Goldfinger. What megastar rose to fame by playing Andy Dwyer on the comedy series Parks and Recreation? Pass. Where are the headquarters of the United Nations? Uh, pass. Time. Carl, how did you do? I think I did okay. All right. I'm going to put you on hold. We'll see how Hot Wings does. Waving him in right now. Hot Wings saunters back. Strong ponderance mm-hmm. of lumens mm-hmm. and B pillars in the hallway to get his brain reset. Headphones on, ready to roll. Yeah, I'm ready. Hot wings, your turn on Dumber Than the Show trivia begins in three, two, one. What megastar rose to fame by playing Andy Dwyer on the comedy series Parks and Recreation? Chris Pratt. 1980s stars Emilio Estevez, Anthony Michael Hall, Rob Lowe, Demi Moore, Judd Nelson, Molly Ringwald, Ali Sheedy, and Andrew McCarthy were often collectively known as what? The Brat Pack. More than 70% of all the maple syrup in the world comes from which Canadian province? Ontario. Where are the headquarters of the United Nations? Um, New York City. What is the highest grossing James Bond film of all time? Oh, my gosh. Um, I'm going to say Quantum of Solace. Time. How did you do? I think pretty good. I mean, that one kind of threw me for a loop, but I assume it's one of the Daniel Craig ones, but I don't know. Who knows? Carl in Albany, welcome back. Let's score the game. What megastar rose to fame by playing Andy Dwyer on the comedy series Parks and Rec? Having said Chris Pratt, Carl passed and then did not answer the second time. The answer is Chris Pratt. Did I say Carl Pratt the first time? I think I, I did. I'm not sure. Chris Pratt is what Hot Wings <laughs> said. That is the correct answer. Number two, one to nothing Hot Wings. 1980s stars Emilio Estevez, Anthony Michael Hall, Rob Lowe, Demi Moore, et al. All the ones I mentioned before were collectively known as what? Hot Wings said Brat Pack. So did Carl. Both correct. Two to one. More than 70% of all the maple syrup in the world comes from which Canadian province? Hot Wings said Ontario. Carl said British Columbia. The answer is the province of Quebec. I figured it was one or the other. They're very close to Vermont. They very much are. Two to one, Hot Wings. Where are the headquarters of the United Nations? Hot Wings said New York City. Carl did not answer. The answer is New York City, three to one, Hot Wings. What is the highest grossing Bond film of all time? Hot Wings said Quantum of Solace. Carl went with Goldfinger. The answer is Skyfall. Mm. Hot Wings wins, three to one. Yeah, I figured it had to be a Daniel Craig one. Modern era, and they're actually pretty good. I blurted out Goldfinger, but I wanted to say Casino Royale, but it didn't matter because it wasn't right. <laughs> no, either either way. I actually pondered Goldfinger, too, only because it's kind of like sort of the go-to one that everyone thinks of. Sure. Without them being adjusted for inflation, which they weren't for that question, the new ones have such an advantage where movies cost 15 bucks or whatever now mm-hmm. as opposed to two. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, Definitely. I think they also have more broad appeal than they did for a long time. Carl, yeah. thanks for playing. All right. Thank you, guys. Love the show. Thanks, thanks man. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Derp, derp, derp. <laughs>